We have begun to see more and more of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 thanks to Game Informer's exclusive month-long coverage of the game. We've seen a bunch of heroes, a lot of which are going to be playable. We've seen some villains in the trailers, but that got me to thinking about even more villains. We've had some characters recently announced with Hawkeye and Miss Marvel both being playable. There's probably going to be more, but still, I go back to the villains. We now have a little bit of an idea of what the story is going to be like, and this got me to wondering, okay, which villains that they haven't shown or announced would be cool to be in the game? And that is what we are here to talk about today, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps us out more than you know. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And with that, let's go ahead and talk about Marvel's iconic, iconic villains that I personally want in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Make sure to let me know in the comments which villains you want in the game that haven't already been announced and let's get into it the first character i want to talk about here is carnage and we know that venom is in the game we see him in the trailers we've seen him in the game informer footage which actually revealed that he was a boss battle that you get to fight against and he was hanging out with electro from spider-man kind of makes sense all right cool but what about carnage is there any way that the offspring of Venom could be in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. With some of these characters that I'm going to bring up, I'm going to try to make connections to the characters that we already know are in the game. And if we have Venom, why wouldn't we have Carnage? He is absolutely insane. The name of the character is pretty self-explanatory. He is going to be a major role in the Venom sequel if that ever does come to fruition. And you guys know that he is absolutely insane. Cletus Cassidy was locked up for being a murderer for crying out loud. I would love to see him in the game. Now, I don't know what business he has with the Infinity Stones, but I also don't know what business Venom has with the Infinity Stones. Maybe they're just causing sh uh, side shenanigans of some kind, right? We know that the Raft is the second level of the game. Maybe he's hanging out there. Who knows? But yeah, I would love to see Carnage in the game causing all types of chaos. So Maximum Carnage was one of my favorite games for Super Nintendo, and I haven't really seen Carnage in too many other games since then. I know he has been in some. It's just I don't play those games as much. But yes, uh, Maximum Carnage was one of my favorite. And let's just get the Spider-Man villains out of the way while we are here and on the subject. Doc Ock is one of my favorite villains from the Spider-Man universe. Spider-Man has one of the best rogue galleries. I guess only in comparison to Batman could I find any size of rogues gallery that is anywhere near as cool as Spider-Man's and Doc Ock for me at least has always been one of the most interesting. He is really really smart. We saw him play a big role in the Spider-Man PS4 game. We've seen him in the movies. At one point Doc Ock even took over Spider-Man's body and was Spider-Man for a while in the comics. There is a lot of really fun stuff that they could do with him in the games. Now again like with Carnage I don't know what business he would have with the Infinity Stones but I'm guessing that a lot a lot of these villains can also just be doing normal bad stuff and then we kind of just like stop along the way and help take them out while also racing to get the infinity stones before the black order we saw shocker we've seen green goblin in here as well maybe we can have a sinister six type scenario where we have a bunch of our favorite spider-man villains all in one i would love to have a boss battle against doc ock with all of those arms maybe you take out one arm before you get to the next and also i would love to see what incarnation of doc ock would be in the game if at all i want to see more of the spider-man throw gallery and doc ock is an amazing one that should not be left out Moving on from Spider-Man villains, let's talk about a villain that everyone is acquainted with at this point, and that is Loki. He was very predominantly featured in the Marvel movies. We see him kind of just disappear in the last time we saw him. He has a TV show coming up. People love Tom Hiddleston, and now people know who Loki is. The last time we had an Ultimate Alliance game, people didn't know who Loki was at all. So his popularity almost kind of assures him being in the game, in my opinion. We know that he was after, you know, at least one of the Infinity Stones with the Tesseract. So yeah, 
I think he's gonna be in the game. I really do. We haven't really seen him, but I think I would be very, very, very surprised if he was omitted from here. So I fully expect him to be on, on here. He's probably the one on the list that is the safest of bets. And yeah, I like Loki just like everyone else likes Loki. And they are staying very true to the MCU in this game, even though it's still very separate. They still call it an original story and everything. So it's not the exact same thing, but close enough. Yeah, Loki's gonna be in it, guys. This next character on the list is on here for a couple of reasons. Number one, he is an absolutely incredible menace. One of my favorite villains in all the Marvel Universe in any incarnation, whether it be movies or comics. The movies haven't really done him justice, and the character I am talking about is Doctor Doom. The second reason why he is on the list is because if he is on here, then that means the Fantastic Four would probably be in the game, and if... The Fantastic Four in the game, then I will be very, very happy. The Fantastic Four have been criminally, criminally underutilized for years, both in the comics and in pop culture, right? Because Marvel didn't have the rights to make any of the movies, and because they didn't have the rights for that, they didn't really want to do too much else with the characters because it just didn't benefit them as much. There's, you know, there's been Fantastic Four, you know, comics here and there, but, you know, they've not been used to the best of their ability. This is Marvel's first family, and Doctor Doom is one of if not the best villain that they've ever had. I mean, that's almost indisputable. They have some some other threats that are, you know, huge, you know, pardon my pun there, but Doctor Doom is just insane in every way. And if there is a race to find all the Infinity Stones and some happen to be on Earth, I really hope he is one of the characters that gets to go after them. And then we also meet the Fantastic Four. So yes, I do hope Victor Von Doom is in Ultimate Alliance 3. I know he is a fan favorite. And if for some reason he isn't in the game, I just hope that Marvel does something good with this staple of characters when it comes to the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom soon because we haven't had a good movie and uh, yeah I just want to see more Doctor Doom overall people have kind of like thrown his name out there as one of the next big threats in the MCU now that Marvel does have the rights to it and I would love to see this happen like Loki, I think that this next one is a pretty safe bet. We've seen plenty of X-Men in the game already, so it only makes sense that Magneto will make his way into Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order. We know that one of the levels takes place on the X-Mansion, and I know that there's Sentinels and all that going on, but it wouldn't really make a lot of sense to have a bunch of the X-Men and not have Magneto be represented in some way. Maybe a mini-boss, maybe a full-on boss battle, but I do think that he makes his way into the game. It's awesome to see the X-Men even be here because, again, like Fantastic Four, the X-Men weren't really a Marvel property when it came to movies, and that is what their focus had been on for such a long time. I know that people also haven't been happy with what the comics had been doing with X-Men. I know recently they've been doing some new stuff, and I haven't checked it out, and people seem more happy with it than before, I guess. But now that Marvel owns everything once again, I want this character roster and this roster of villains that we're going to see in this game to be the biggest we've ever seen. Magneto cannot be omitted. We see Wolverine, we see Storm. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other X-Men. Forgive me if I miss any that we already know about, but yes, Magneto is going to be so, so cool. And I really hope that he's just the boss of the expansion and he's like taking over and he's attacking and Sentinels, all that. That'd be awesome. And the last villain I want to talk about here also has an X-Men connection. We see Wolverine and one of Wolverine's most iconic, iconic rivals is Sabretooth of Victor Creed. Again, like with so many of these, I don't know how you fit him into the story, but luckily I don't work for Marvel, but he is just basically the anti-Wolverine. He has this beast-like quality to him. He is incredibly savage. He is everything Wolverine isn't, right? Because he is like terrible and Wolverine is like very good, even though they kind of share some history together. He would be an absolutely awesome character to have as a mini boss. Now, I don't think that he could be a full-on boss, fight I don't I don't see that really because there's four heroes fighting at any given time and, and four heroes against Sabretooth yeah I don't know how that would work out for Sabretooth because he just doesn't necessarily have the power but I fully think he could be a mini boss and still provide a type of challenge we saw him represented in the movies by uh, Liev Schreiber and you know whether you like it or not Sabretooth is popular still and 
when they eventually reboot the X-Men, I want to see him be one of the main villains. And I would also love for him to make an appearance here in Ultimate Alliance 3. I said it earlier in the video, but I want this game to have the biggest roster we've ever seen in this game. Then it kind of seems like we might be able to hit that. We're talking well over 20 playable heroes. We're talking way more characters than that that aren't playable at all. A ton of villains. And I'm still super, super excited for these games. But let me know what villains we haven't seen yet that you would like in the game. Maybe even if we have seen them a little bit, sound off in the comments below and let me know what type of boss battle you would like to see. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Again, just to recap the list of one more time, Carnage, Doc Ock, Loki, Doctor Doom, Magneto, and Sabretooth will all be villains I would love to see in this game in some fashion. And hopefully you guys would as well. Again, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video in any way. Follow us on Twitter. Link is in the description. And we will catch you on the next one. Switch Force out.